right, today we're going to talk about variables and expressions. A little vocab, a little introduction to algebra and what it is all about. All right, first of all, an algebraic expression, that basically has a variable. Okay, that's what algebra is the study of variables. Now, what is a variable? It's a letter or a symbol that represents a number. Most common one that is used is x, but you could use y, you could use a, b, any one you want. Okay. Um, so basically an algebraic expression when it has variables something like 2x or 3a squared plus 2a plus 1. Those are algebraic expressions. Okay. A term is a number, a variable, or any product or quotient of those. So an example of a term is something like 2x to the third power, or 4ab, or 5 halves x squared. Those are all terms. 2x plus 1, that is a combination of two terms, okay? Anytime you then add a plus or a minus in there, that becomes two terms. Unless it's a negative sign, of course. If you have negative 2x cubed, that's still just one term. All right, factor and products kind of go together. A factor is the quantities being multiplied whereas a product is the result of multiplication. So basically, if you have something like 5 times 2 equals 10, 10 is your product, where 5 and 2 are your factors. Okay? And then power, base and exponent, a power is something like x cubed. The x is the base part of it, the 3 is the exponent. And what does that mean? x cubed means x times x times x. Okay. If you have something like 3 squared, 3 is your base, 2 is your exponent, and what does that mean? 3 times 3, which is 9. Okay. Those are just some, some of the vocab that you're going to run into this year in Algebra 1. So, first we are going to start looking at writing verbal expressions. This is something that you think, why do I have to do this? It's just good to know how to verbalize what they're asking for, okay? 9a squared means what you're doing is 9 times the square of a. Okay, 7x cubed minus 1, the product, use your vocab, the product of 7 and a number cubed, minus 1. Okay, here are some you tries. How we set this up is I'm going to go through examples and then I'm going to leave some for you to try. Tomorrow in class we're going to go over them. Okay, so you pause the video, try the problems, and then go on to finish the rest. So writing algebraic expressions. This is where you're given the, ver the verbal piece, the sum of a number in 10, and you need to write it algebraically. So the sum, that means to add, of a number that's your variable in 10. You can use whatever variable you want. I have to use x because it is the most common. It doesn't matter. You can use a, you can use j, n, whatever you want to use. So the sum of a number and 10, so x plus 10. 8 increased by, increased by means we're going to add, because that's 8 more than that. So 8 increased by 3 times a the number, there's your 3x. Difference means to subtract of 17 and 5 times a number. Now 5 times a number, that's like 5x. So the difference of 17 and 5 times a number, 17 minus 5x. Product means to multiply of 2 and the second power of y. The second power of y is y squared, so 2 times y squared. You can write it like that, 2 times y squared, either way is fine. The one thing I would try to 
not use is multiplication as x. I know we grew up using x means to multiply, but now that in algebra where we so often use the variable x, that gets confusing if we're going to times y squared, it just looks like you're multiplying 2xy squared, okay, instead of 2 times y squared. So let's not use that and let's use the multiplication or when, you're, when you have variables you don't need a symbol there. 2y squared means you're multiplying 2 times y squared. 7 times the sum. The sum means we add, so we're going to add x cubed and 5, and we have 7 times that sum. We need some parentheses, okay? 7 times that whole sum. That right there, when you just have 7 outside the parentheses, that means multiply, or you can put your little dot for the symbol in there to multiply. Okay, so there's some writing algebraic expressions. Next slide is some um, you try. Okay, so go ahead, pause the video, try these problems. Okay, and we will go over them tomorrow in class.